Hey yo, what's up guys? I'm back with another video. And today's video is going to be fairly short. And I'm going to show you how to get um, a fairly easy nuke here in Season 1. Alright, so I'm going to get right to it. So what you want to do is you want to play Ground War. And a new map, Port of Verdansk. Or Verdansk, however you say it. What you want to do is, you want to come to the point near C. And what you want to do is you want to go to the rooftop. And this method is kind of campy but not so much campy it's 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 fairly easy though and all you want to do is at this uh point is hold uh point c now the trick to this is is that your teammates can't capture c this back corner where the truck is and where that building is they tend to spawn there no matter what as long as your team isn't capturing c so if your team isn't capturing c it allows them to keep spawning now and for whatever reason they just constantly spawn it's almost like a spawn trap but this, although this tip is easy, there's some stuff you have to worry about. There are three ladders. They got the one that I'm standing near right now. They have the one that's at the front of the building that you know somebody can wrap around and go to. And there's one that's dead in the middle, like right around now. So I heavily advise using the claymore or a proximity mine to block off at least this ladder right there. That's the number one ladder you have to worry about because they come up so fast. And the only way to get them off is to stand up on a ledge. But if you stand up on a ledge, you expose yourself to possibly a sniper. So the best way to do it is use this vent or air conditioning vent or whatever it is to just use cover. And it's fairly easy. And you just sit up there for however long. You know, run proximity mine, use an ammo crate. Or even run a, um, what's the, the, the perk restock. And it allows you to just constantly restock your, um, your equipment. I didn't run it because I didn't even plan on this. I just noticed that they just kept spawning and kept spawning, so I was like, "No, let, let's see how far I can take this." So you see, I got my advance, and I just kept going and kept going. Now I felt kind of dirty camping up there, but then I realized it requires a little bit of work. So, but a nuke is a nuke at the end of the day. So, so that's pretty much it. Like I said, just you know, make sure you play the ledges correctly, cause wrong, wrong move. Like right here, like if you start to take damage, just back off and. Don't force it, cause like I said, if you step on a ledge, you can easily die because you're exposed to every which direction. Another quick tip: if you ever raise up over the ledge and you see a flash of light, nine chances out of ten, it's a sniper. And you really and truly, you don't want to challenge that, cause if you challenge it, you're gonna die, and you could have had a nuke, but you was greedy. You know the kills are gonna come, but as you can see, I wasn't paying attention to capture C, and then that's the other ladder I was talking about. So it's actually four ladders, one up the wall. One right by it, one in the middle, and the one I'm standing by. But I didn't notice they capture C. If they capture C, they won't spawn there, of course. And you kind of have to move around. So I was pretty much lucky enough to just move around and wait till they capture C all over again. You know, I was a little nervous at this point because I'm like, I don't know where they spawning at. I'm constantly seeing people I'm killing where they're coming from, you know. So I'm just maneuvering around with trying to stay. Just basically, for this technique, you want to stay close to this building and avoid the streets. There are snipers everywhere, so... But as you can see right here, they captured C, so I hurry up and got back up, and I'm going back to my spot. You know, it's, it's really, really fairly simple. You know, it doesn't really get much simpler than this. You know, it's easy, but it still does require a little bit of work. You know, it's an easy way to get your first nuke if you haven't got one in this game yet. You know, and it's pretty fun, too. So you can constantly do this over and over. I advise maybe doing it in a party to help keep your teammates maybe off of C. And you can help regulate how many people come to you and who don't, and maybe even help. You know, with the snipers, you know, teammates, you know, use your teammates for support. But, you know, yeah, see, right here, I didn't even, I didn't even hear him coming up the ladder because it's so loud and so many explosions going on, but my proximity mine took care of them. See, they go another one. They just constantly spawn over and over and over. It's either in the building or outside the building to the corner. See how I challenged this? I could have died. It would have been my fault because I challenged the sniper. And he, you know, he he's already ADSing. So if I would have died, I'd have been upset, but it's my fault. But yeah, right after I got the nuke, which is about to happen in a second, I died like right after because I stood up on a ledge when I shouldn't have. I could have went on a, you know, maybe the highest gun streak ever, but you know, I got greedy and I got too eager trying to get the nuke. But yeah, I get the nuke, but I never did call it in because I tried to play the rest of the game out. And for whatever reason, the other enemy team, somebody called the nuke in on their team and we actually lost. So, you know, the chances of both of us actually getting a nuke in the same game. But yeah, that's about it. I'm going to let the rest of this video play out. And I'm going to catch y'all later. And thank you for watching the video. Peace.